Hey guys, uh, this is HD Polver bringing you latter game number four or five. Uh, I think it's four. And uh, I played this uh, match up here. Uh, I was uh, pitched against uh, a Zerg player, and I spawned as uh, Protoss. And uh, this player here, Sorcerer, is uh, in. I think he's ranked in. Number eight in platinum division. Of course, uh, this is pre pats when uh, there's no ma master league in this replay, only platinum and diamond. But uh, as you are all are aware of, uh, there's a new league with the new pads that came out today, or had uh, has already long come out, uh, depending on when you watch this replay. Uh, I'm going to just uh, have a first person view of myself and uh, just look about what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. This is mainly so I can uh, improve on my own gameplay. So when I scout him here and I'm putting patrols just to help me macro in base, uh, he is... I see no pool at the moment, so at the earliest he's getting a 13 pool or a 14 pool. So at this point I'm a bit worried about the fast expo or not really worried, I'm just I'm trying to figure out which strategy I should go for and keeping just patrolling here because I see no pool and I want to be sure about when I see it it's uh, like uh, 14 foot now or something like that and I really want to see when he goes for that pool just trying to keep my macro on par with uh, the, the Zerg you don't want to fall behind and putting the second pile on and here I see the pool and I see it's almost finished so this was probably a 13 pool and I see I really need to kill this Zerg drone in my in my base so I think I decide to go for a sea lot Uh, I'm a bit sick at the moment, so I decided to cast this game, so uh, I'm not sure if uh, you can hear it on my voice, but uh, the Zerg decides to steal one gas. This is pretty good from the Zerg to steal the gas, and and I'm just trying to keep the scouting information going, uh, but uh, as you can see, w with stealing the gas, uh, he is removing my ability to go for some kind of mass sentry or mass stalker or even an early attack into Phoenix or something like that so and he's just cancelling and rebuilding good strategy there and I actually when I noticed this I just decided to to uh, build another gateway and let's put the production tab here up and uh, get out some stalkers to kill it off uh, I'm still a bit afraid of an early aggression because I saw no expo from the Zerg player and if a Zerg player is is one pacing he is probably going for some kind of Zerg baneling or Zerg roads push and you can expect that to knock on your front door in about um, two minutes or in the seven minute mark if he's going for that but uh, as we look at the production tab we see no roads were at the moment and I'm still just I'm currently posting out the warp gate technology because you want that as soon as possible and uh, I, I'm i still only at two gates and as you can see my minerals are just racking up and this is not really a good macro from me I really should have put down uh, two more gateways much much earlier uh, to be able to put some ag aggression on my my Zerg opponent and if he would have decided to go for Rotswarn, he's actually building the Rotswarn now so I might be in a bit of trouble here because early roads Ling with uh, I only have two kids at the moment and racking up the minerals 500-700 uh, and now 400 I really should just throw down an expo or a forge to spend those minerals and here you see the Zerg trying to run in and he actually did notice that uh, I did not block off my and now he actually spots my my uh, build which is a 4 gate and a really bad 4 gate at that since I'm uh, I delayed the 
uh, two gates so so far and as you all know a good four gate happens does hit the enemy base at around six minute mark so it's seven minutes now so you can see that I'm not macroing like I should but hey I'm I just got promoted into platinum so don't expect uh, some awesome play but maybe you can take something from it so maybe you cannot I, I'm not sure uh, so we see here I have four stalkers and one sea lot and trying to set up a proxy pylon trying to keep my opponent just uh, in his base but I do notice that he has an expansion so I'm pretty sure that uh, he will probably drone up so I decide to warp in some sentries because you really need sentries to force field and to uh, you really need force fields versus Zerg that's just uh, how it goes uh, and as you can see my minerals are just racking up I have way too many minerals and I'm my plan here just so you guys know was to rush up his ramp and force field the ramp and kill off as much of uh, of his main base as I, I could in that uh, time frame but as you noticed I I failed to bring my sentries up the ramp and I actually force fielded them out of the ramp so a really failed attack there for me and as you can see I have full chrono boost and I'm playing just very poorly at the moment I, I'm not sure what the hell I'm doing but uh, now I'm thinking I'm behind he has an expansion uh, my my failed 4 gate failed so double failure there and I think the only thing helping me in this game, I have not supply blocked myself and probably because I'm just killing every unit I, I warp in, so not a good search here. Here I decide to, uh, he here I really think I'm I'm just way behind, I, I can't uh, pull myself from this, uh, I really think I need to do some insane strategy just to avoid, uh, just to keep myself on par with the Zerg, and the Zerg actually thinking about doing some aggression it seems but uh, I'm throwing down a forts and and a toilet council and uh, the option was between either a star gate or or some kind of uh, high templar or dark templar play and you will see how what I decided to go for but here I'm just spending the chrome boost on the warp gates because I'm 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 so afraid that he is going to uh, bring bring just a lot of roaches and uh, links in at my front door and I really at this point I don't think I can handle it let's look at the army count just for fun we're actually pretty even I'm not sure why but as you can see the income is actually pretty even. if you notice be, uh, probably because I uh, because of the early aggression I did even though I lost all the units it's it prevented the Zerg from droning ha too heavily up so I'm I'm actually not as far behind as I think in this game as you can see the income is similar he is uh, well he's running on four gases probably so uh, let's look at the APM I'm only 77 as you can see in my previous videos I, I usually am about the 100 so something going on with me this game I'm just not playing as uh, I normally play probably because uh, I've been a bit sick but I'm still a bit above the third player in terms of APM uh, let's look at the production again and as you can see I'm going for weapon level 1 upgrade and that's pretty crucial you, you need that and at this point in the game I have no scouting information I know he just uh, spine crawled this base up and I actually noticed that uh, he has not he, he has no lair so what I'm thinking is going for some kind of aggression because I'm I'm just very afraid that he's going for some spire play some mutas in my base and as you can see I have no detail if he would have bring like five six mutas I would have just GG'd out because uh, I had no no static defense so what you don't want to do is you don't want to move in on the creep it's uh, you you want to get an observer out and here I actually just decide to engage and let my silos just I have a lot of silos just tank the the damage and here it's crucial that I do some force field play but I instead decided to go for that that uh, 
Guardian Shield and this is actually in favor of myself because I think the Surf player just just uh, droned so heavily up and he's actually bringing all his drones to to help in the uh, he's at 30 at the moment but he's uh, losing fast some uh, some workers but uh, eventually he's going to break me and and kill off these stalkers uh, of course of course the links are very very good against uh, against stalkers and as you can see in the income tab even though he is on two base he has uh, not that many drones over me but a bit more better saturation because because he's on two base and the APM uh, it's uh, going very similar from both and here I decide because I, I really think I'm so so much far behind uh, I'm so afraid he has a third and and so and I actually did scout he uh, don't have this one doesn't have this one and uh, I decide to uh, make an expansion here which is usually your second expansion and not here because uh, I thought he would uh, scout this faster and, and maybe just uh, just uh, out mass me if if he would saw an expansion so my thought my, my mind was in that place that I didn't want him to spot my expansion because then he would just mass unit and try to kill me he's actually seven hyd ultra hydralisk and I'm putting some pylons here always good to have some pylons at, the, at your natural so you can warp in more units and as you can see I did decide to go for the dark shrine This can be very effective against Zerg players who do not have lair, but I am actually expecting him to have lair now. But uh, because, but uh, because uh, you can split up Dark Templars and they one shot the drones, it's all. It, it might be. It's a bit, ri a bit risky. Risk play. It can be very beneficial.